Greetings all and welcome to the virtual office hours. Uh, as you all know by this point, hopefully, my name is John Fia. I chair the history department here at Messiah. I teach American history. Uh, we have Megan Piet behind the camera. This is Megan's last office hours as the producer of the office hours. We've been working together on this for two years now. Uh, she's done a wonderful job. I just like to say I'm the host. Megan's the producer. She's the genius mastermind. Uh, behind all of this. So uh, I just want to publicly say thanks, Megan. It's been fun working with you uh, these last two years on the office hours. And I know she's going to leave Messiah College and do some great things. So thanks. Um, but we do have an office hours uh, to get to today. Our final one of the uh, spring 2015 series. Uh, we're call it, we've been calling this series uh, Messiah College, a new kind of history department. And we've been if you've been following, we've talked to faculty, we've talked to administrators, we've talked to students especially about their experience, all the fun things that we're doing here at Messiah College. We've kind of framed it around, if you go back and watch the first episode, we framed it around uh, Anthony Grafton and James Grossman's piece in The American Scholar that mentioned some of the things we're doing here at Messiah. Uh, of course, we have the Founding Fathers with us as usual. They appear in every uh, one of our episodes. Um, and we have uh, a special guest, Jonathan Wuthmuller. Uh, Jonathan is a first-year history major here at Messiah from Clifton Park, New York, just outside of Albany, yes, right? Mm -hmm. And today we are going to focus our attention on a new course that we designed here in the History Department. It's really three years old, but we wanted to capture or at least have first year students come in uh, and be exposed to all of these cool things that I think we're doing in the history department so that they can think about where they want to plug into the department as they move on over the course of their, their next three years here at Messiah. We call the course Introduction to History. Uh, I've taught it the first three years, although uh, I'll be leaving on sabbatical for a year. The office hours, by the way, is still up in the air. We don't know if we'll continue, but so someone else will be teaching it. Um, next year but I've taught it the first three years this year Jonathan was a student in the class so we thought we'd spend some time talking to him and see what his experience has been like both in that class and then just broadly here in the Messiah history department so welcome Jonathan to the virtual office hour he doesn't watch the virtual office hour so this is he this is his first this is his first experience he's probably wondering why these strange founding fathers are sitting here as dispensers and but anyway I uh, it's great to have you now, tell us a little bit about why Messiah. You know, you, you're from upstate New York. You know, why study history? Why did you come to study history here at Messiah College? Um, okay, so I think um, one of the big deals was, uh, even when I was young, I just had this passion for history. Yeah. And I was interested in studying it wherever I went. So that was um, just something that I decided right off the bat was wherever I go, I'm going to major in history. Yeah. I'm going to study that. Uh, and then another thing was that just kind of narrowed me down towards Messiah was, that I was interested in studying in a Christian liberal arts school. Sure. So from from where I was, there were there were plenty of options, um, but the two I was really looking at um, were were Gordon and Messiah, just okay. because I had um, some connections there through my family. Sure. And both of them came to me highly recommended. Okay. Um, but one of the things that really um, kind of sold me on Messiah was when I came in for the humanities scholarship interview. Yeah. yeah. And I just felt like I really connected with the department right. and you guys shared the same passion for history yeah, yeah. and I was interested in in learning from from all of you yeah so that was really what what brought me here yeah we uh, I recall that we have a program in the uh, when we interviewed Dean Peter Powers uh, back in February we uh, we he failed to mention that this this uh, humanity scholars program in which we kind of offer scholarships to promising prospective students coming in to study the humanities and Jonathan received one of those and we did an interview with him and I remember that being a fun interview I think it was, it was you very and fun. me and mm -hmm. Dr. Legrand and yeah. then we got Dr. Pettigrew in there to talk a little you're very he's very interested in ancient history and archaeology so that was fun so what's it been like so far has it been a good decision yeah it's been very good yeah I've I've been enjoying my time here it's okay really excellent now um I was going to ask you a second question, which I completely forgot right <laughs> now, but uh, maybe you remember it. Um, <laughs> I think it was um, uh, maybe where I've been involved or what I've enjoyed most about being part of the department. Let's go with that. Okay. 
Well, is that um, okay, Megan? Do we need to cut? Yeah, does that? <laughs> 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 We're informal here. Go yeah, ahead. exactly. Um, I think um, one of the things that was the coolest for me was I took the the archaeology class that we offer here, and this was like my first semester. And it was an upper division class, so yeah. it was a lot to take on in the beginning, yeah. but it was really rewarding because there was the hands-on aspect of the course where we were doing our field work, mm -hmm. and that was really cool because uh, alongside this whole thing, I was taking the intro to history class, and I right, was learning right. about um, the study of history and what it right. means, right. and and then there was the portion afterwards where I got to do um, textual research to supplement that, and right. now it's um, it's something that we're working towards making um, uh, more available to the public, because it's for this uh, church that we were right. working at. So, yeah, tell me a little yeah. bit about that quickly. Um, yeah. It was, it was at uh, Trindle Spring Lutheran in okay. Mechanicsburg, and there, it's part of their tradition that there was a, like the original church building where the Lutherans met was kind of in the corner of this cemetery, so mm -hmm. um, we were just looking into that and yeah. excavating the site, and it yeah. was, it's very interesting, and it was cool to be part of that even as a freshman. And you found a church, you found their old church, was that yeah. it? Or? We, we, we think that we found it, we think we came upon this layer that was like a, like a packed dirt floor, and yeah. there was some stoneware yeah. and mortar, yeah. so... Very exciting. And, and I think, was it ABC 27 kind of mm -hmm. came on site? Mm -hmm. And I remember Jonathan was one of the people who got the, the, yeah. the got to speak on, you know, they, used, they <laughs> used the footage from yeah. you know, about, mm -hmm. about digging. I think, wasn't it, you were on your knees or something? I was, yeah, digging. I was, um, <laughs> yeah. I was traveling That's in one right. of the That's units, right. and I said, um, uh, finding, or the chance of making any kind of historical discovery is really exciting, and that yeah. was just <laughs> that, that the was the clip thing to they say. used. Yeah, <laughs> good. Now, you took the Intro to History course last fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think on the final exam, I asked you, you know, what are some of the things that you learned in this class? Obviously, right? It's a final exam. But, you know, what are some of the things about the study of history that you maybe didn't know before that, you know, um, how did you respond? I mean, what, what were some of the things you took away from that mm -hmm. intro to history class as a first year student yeah. studying history in college for the first time? And here's your first exposure. Yeah. Um, I think one of the bigger deals for me was just um, understanding what had appealed to me about history beforehand because yeah. we talked about the difference between the past and history and how the, the past is what's happened before the people that have lived there and then history is this like reconstruction of right. the past and right. forming a narrative yeah. and I've always enjoyed constructing these narratives for, yeah. for creative and for academic purposes. Right, right. And so just putting that into words was something that yeah. all of a sudden I realized like, oh, so that's one of the things that's always appealed to me about yeah, history is this yeah. reconstruction of a narrative, communicating right. these ideas. As opposed to just like memorizing mm -hmm. facts and yeah, dates exactly. and so forth. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then another thing too was um, just you know, something uh, that appealed to me about it was how it was such a spiritual discipline yeah. and how it, it teaches you to empathize with people and right. you need to exercise humility to do that yeah. and those are those are things that are good when you apply them to learning about the past and then as they become part of your character they're good for for building a civil society yeah and he yeah. said so we did so, not pay him to say this but no it was it was <laughs> my, my own volition no 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 that's great because those are some of the things we're trying to mm -hmm. get students to think deeply about in that intro to, intro to history class we read my book in there why study history and um, that was a fun class. I would come in every day. And we didn't meet on Monday. Was it Monday nights? Yeah, Monday we met nights. on Monday nights. And, and there became this tradition of putting a Churchill quote on mm -hmm. the board every yeah. And then we debate whether it was true. <laughs> yes. Right? And then, and then St. Augustine, too, became. Mm -hmm. We got mm -hmm. St. Augustine yeah. quotes up on the boards. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, for some reason, they must have been, you could tell they were first year students because they would get in there, you know, I think they were in there like an hour before the class started to do it. Because there was a day I think we were. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, uh, so yeah, so, so I think this is, this has been a, a fundamental piece that we've added to our curriculum, the introduction to history and Jonathan, uh, we're looking forward to great things from him over the course of the next three years, but we thought we'd have him come in and talk a little bit about his experience here at Messiah and specifically in that course. So thanks for coming on the virtual office hours. It was my pleasure. And thank you. Uh, we will see you in uh, hopefully maybe the fall of 2015. We hope that you have been able to uh, glean uh, uh, some information about some of the exciting things going on here in the history department. Everything from careers to to um, new courses, to digital history, to public history, to, to our teaching program. I'm really excited and I'm honored to be the chair of this history department. I'm really excited about everything that's been going on here. 
and uh, it's just been a, a um, I think a good couple years in trying to create a new kind of history department that's going to meet the needs of the humanities and history in the 21st century. So thanks for taking the ride these past 13 weeks and uh, we will see you somewhere down the road on the virtual office hours.